Hello, my name is Hans George Campbell, and today I thought I'd show you my Apple uh, computer pickup for December 2019. So let's get started. Okay, first up is this Apple Monitor 3. It's a CRT monitor with um, green text and graphics on a black screen. And this monitor is used with the, uh, the Apple II computers. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be doing a recap on this one, a refurbishment, and so stay tuned for that video. And we'll take a look inside this monitor to see what's in here. Okay. That's the stand for it. All right, next we have the disk drives for the Apple um, II computer. And, yeah, that's what it looks like. I really like the way it's all metal, the, the case is all metal, and I think the bottom, the bottom is all metal, you know, and it's just, it's very nicely, uh, very nicely made. Now, I think the newer drives, they have the gray ribbon cable, and the older drives, they have the rainbow uh, ribbon cable. But I like the way even the logo here was custom made uh, for these drives. I mean, it's just really cool. And uh, this uses the old Shugart mechanisms. These are really high quality disk drive mechanisms. Um, I remember when I built my original uh, IBM XT compatible computer all, all those years ago, um, I put two of these Shugart drives in my PC compatible back then, and, and they're very nice drives. Anyway, this is disk one, or drive one, and it plugs into, uh, there's a disk drive controller, and I'll show you that in a moment, that these ribbon cables plug into. Okay. All right, so let's put these away. Next, we have a, an Apple uh, 800K 3.5 inch disk drive. And it uses the, I think this is 19 pin D connector, standard connector. But yeah, that's the Apple 3.5 uh, um, inch disk drive, 800K. Um, I'm not going to be using this with my Macintosh computers or my Apple computers. Believe it or not, I'm going to be using this drive here, after I refurbish it and clean it and everything. I'm going to be using this with one of my Amiga 2000 computers that's set up for Macintosh emulation. I've got an AMAX2 cartridge plugged into the rear of the Amiga 2000, and it's got a connector that this plugs into. And so, by using a real Apple three and a half inch drive like this, I can read and write real Macintosh disks using the AMX2 Macintosh emulator. Um, the Amiga emulates the, uh, the the Amiga Macintosh emulator is about 20 percent faster than the real Macintosh Plus computer. And I'm going to be doing a speed test, because I'm curious if that's true. So stay tuned for these Macintosh emulation episodes that are coming up this year. I, th I, think, um, I think you guys are going to love this year, because I have over 100 videos already scheduled. So if you haven't subscribed yet, I suggest that you do, because if you're into vintage computers, 
and software and video games and stuff like that, I think you're really going to enjoy my YouTube channel. So, yeah, subscribe, hit the like button. It helps out, you know. But anyway, yeah, this is the Apple 800K 3.5 inch disk drive. Okay. Next, we have the Apple 2 uh, using Apple Works, the manual for the software. And uh, yeah, that's the manual for it. And it's in pretty nice, pretty nice shape. You know, it's pretty nice shape. But yeah, that's the manual. Next, we've got, I'm going to show the computer last. Okay, because I'm going to open it up and show you the inside and show you the boards and stuff that's plugged in. Um, this is one of the joysticks that I have for the Apple um, computers. And I think it's... Okay, this one right here is universal. It can plug in to... You need to plug in with this plug. I think the Apple IIc has this kind of a connector. And I believe the Apple II GS also has these 9-pin D connections for the joystick. Or, in the, in the normal Apple II computers, it plugs in. There's a place on the board where you plug this in, you know, for the joystick. But, yeah. Anyway, that's, um, I think this is a Kraft KC3. Yeah, Kraft KC3 joystick for the Apple computers. And next, we have, I'm pretty sure that this was made by my favorite joy, one of my favorite joystick manufacturers. Um, anyway, yeah, this is a, a very nice joystick for the Apple II computers. Very nice joystick. I like the fact that it has a fire button up on the top, on the top of the stick. That's pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. Alrighty. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and show the computer. She's actually kind of heavy. <laughs> She's actually kind of heavy. But there is the Apple... 2 plus computer and she's in really a nice shape um, you really ever find them in this nice a condition you know but this one's in a really nice shape and okay and there's the the rear of it okay and then of course the bottom of it you know in case you want to see what the bottom looks like but anyway let's take a look inside okay Take a look inside. Let's pull the light over. And the cover is Velcro in the back. And it just comes off like that. Okay. And, alright. So, okay, let's uh, take a look inside here. This is the inside of the Apple II computer. Um, the card that's near the power supply, that's the memory expansion card. And I think it also is the language card, if I'm not mistaken. But I, but I know it's memory. It gives you an extra 16K of memory. It bumps this up to 64K of memory. And then the smaller board, um, that's the disk drive board. It's a disk drive controller board. And that's the board that you plug in both of the, the ribbon cables from the disk drives. But yeah, that's the inside of the uh, Apple II computer. And one thing I love about the way Steve Wozniak, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right, uh, him and I would have got along really well because we're a lot alike as far as the way we assemble boards. Um, if you notice, all the chips are socketed. And they're all facing the exact same way. Even 
the resistors and the capacitors and everything. If you've ever looked, you know, uh, at, a, at an Apple II board like this, okay, even the resistors, the color code and everything, they're all facing the same direction. I mean, this is a very nicely laid out board. And one of the things I do like about the Apple computer, I, I consider this a very high quality computer. And I think it's one of the best of all the 8-bit computers. I really do. I think this one is actually nicer than a Commodore 64. Yes, I said that. These are very well made. You know, all the chips are socketed. They use discrete components. You know, um, even the chips that are on these boards here, they're all socketed. You know, very nicely laid out computer. Yeah, very nice keyboard, you know. Yeah, this the Apple computers are very nice. We've got some boards to show. Got all kinds of boards to show that came with this lot of Apple computer stuff. Okay, first thing we got, we got this. Um, it's an adapter that it, it plugs into the Apple II motherboard and then it comes out with just a normal 9-pin D so you can use normal Apple joysticks. Um, yeah, It says Atari on here so I don't know if you can use Atari joysticks or not but it says Atari right here on this connector. Yeah. But it's clearly made for the Apple computer because you know, there's the pins, you know, the gold-plated pins that plug into the uh, the motherboard. There's a place on the motherboard specifically for the joystick. Okay, but that's the adapter. And then, I want to show you what the disk drive controller looks like. Um... out of the uh, the computer so I got a spare board um, you know for the disk drive and as you can see all the chips are socketed I mean it's just very nicely done I mean I just love these they're just very nicely done Okay, next we have um, this is a spare well, let me see what this is called. It should have it labeled. Apple RAM board. Okay, that's what I thought. Now for some reason okay, these are not all socketed. And I think it's because this RAM board um, here was not made by Apple. Okay, it wasn't made by Apple. But that plugs into, there's a, you remove one RAM chip on the motherboard and this plugs in where that RAM chip was. And, 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 this, and the, the IC socket is usually white. It's usually a different color. Um, you know, so that, you know, that's where you plug that in. And then there's an extra RAM chip on here to take the place of the one that you removed. But this is a spare RAM board. You know, I like having spare boards for my, my computers. Alrighty. I'm going to save that board for last. Um, here I think I have extra chips. But I think one of those boards were upgraded. I don't know. I think that motherboard was upgraded. But yeah. 
these are some rare chips, or not rare, but uh, spare chips for the Apple computers. So he's got some spare chips. Always like having spare chips. Okay, and this board, um, this is a highly sought after board. This is the Super um, Serial Board. Okay, and there's the connector. And uh, I usually connect this, and I have, it, it plugs inside the app to a computer. And then I use a cable that goes from here to my Pentium 3 computer, which has a, an actual serial port. And that's how I get Apple software that I download off the internet uh, over to my App 2 computer. And these boards are a must-have. If you're into the Apple computer, yeah, you, you really need this, because this is one of the, the best ways to get software over to the, um, the uh, Apple 2 computer from your PC. And again, all of these chips are socketed, so that's real nice, you know. And then this right here, it fastens onto the rear of the case, and it holds that 25-pin connector. Yeah. software and after I show you the software I have a bonus item that I'm going to be showing you okay I got in a bunch of software uh, first up we've got first up we've got serpentine serpentine yeah uh, for the Apple computer Okay. And next we have um, Star Blazer. The disc and the manual is inside. Come on. And this right here is Demons. Forge. I think this um, one side is PC software, and the other side is Apple 2E 2C. Okay. All right. So apparently, this requires more colors than the Apple II Plus can can put out. But anyway, there's that disc. And we have, now it's very hard to find original Apple software, especially in the original boxes like this, in new condition. We have Miss Pac-Man for the Apple II. We've got Jungle Hunt. We've got Battle Zone. And I'm going to be showing all of these games in a near future episode. After I refurbish my Apple II Plus and get it all set up, I'll be showing these games. And of course, we've got to have Moon Patrol. This is actually one of my favorite games. It, it, this looks good on any computer I've seen it on. Because I have it for the VIC-20, I've got it for the Commodore 64, and now here's the Apple version, Apple II version. And next we 
Next we have, in a larger box, we have Dig Dug. Okay, we got Dig Dug. Oh yeah, gotta have that. And we have Donkey Kong by Nintendo. And we have Robotron 2084. Yeah, I had to squat a certain way to talk like that. <laughs> All right. And we have Pac-Man. And we have Centipede. This is my friend's favorite game of all time. He's a Centipede master. I mean, I don't think anyone's beat his record. But yeah, he's really good. I mean, when he plays this thing, he'll, 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 he'll get millions of points playing this game. Yeah. But yeah, my friend is really good at playing this game. Okay, and last for the software is this really nice um, ancient okay ancient art of war at sea. and I will be showing this in a future video I'll show the contents of the box and the discs and the manuals and things like that when I show the rest of my Apple II software so you'll be, you get to see what's inside this box in a near future episode and there's the back the back of the game. Okay, that's the software. And now for the bonus. I have in really nice condition a rare well, it's hard to find. A rare Apple IIc Plus computer. It's not yellowed. It just needs to be cleaned. It's missing the 5 key. Of course, you can find those on eBay. But this has a really nice keyboard. I think this has the exact same keyboard or the type of key switches that the, um, the Apple, II, uh, Apple II GS computer has. Those really nice Alps mechanical switches. This is a really, really nice keyboard. And of course the Apple II Plus, it has a three and a half inch disk drive instead of the five and a quarter. Okay. Got a built-in carry handle, and there's the back of it. Built-in power supply. Now this one is missing the case screws. I don't know why, but it's missing the case screws. Anyway, there's the bottom of it. In case you want to see what the bottom of it looks like. And there's the disk drive. You know. And there's the uh, the computer itself. But yeah, I just thought I'd show this one. So if any of you have the K screws that'll fit this computer, you know, I would appreciate it if you can send them to me if you have any spare screws, because I like to refurbish this one. And if you have a spare five key, hey, that would be nice, you know, that I can get this one put back together. It works. You know, it's just that for some reason the K screws were never put back in. And the guy that I got this from, he lost the K screws. And there was a five key here, but he lost that too. So I don't know what's going on. Anyway, yeah, I really want to get this refurbished so I can start using this one. Um, what the nice thing about the Apple II C Plus is that a lot of the software that runs <clears throat> on the Apple II GS will also run on this computer. Yes, you heard me right. Also, this happens to be the fastest Apple II computer. This computer it defaults at four megahertz, but you can you can uh, decrease the speed to one megahertz for the older Apple software to make it more compatible. But yeah, this is the fastest of all the Apple II computers. This one's really nice. Yeah.
Well, that's it for my um, Apple II computer pickup for December of 2019. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, um, if you haven't subscribed yet, I think you should because I have um, already at least a hundred videos planned for 2020. Minimum, right off the top of my head. I mean, I, I, I made up a list in Microsoft Word the other night and I counted uh, around a hundred videos. And that doesn't count the videos that pop up from time to time, like the pickup videos, because I don't know when I'm going to get a mega load or, or donations or anything like that. But, um, yeah, you need to subscribe. If, you, if you're into vintage computers and you're into uh, video games and, and things like that and hardware reviews and stuff like that, um, you should subscribe to this channel. I think you'll really enjoy it. Anyway, my name is Hans George Campbell. And until next time.